Warning. Sodium chloride is a strong oxidizing agent and must be handled with care. Proper safety equipment must be used, and this experiment must be done in a fume hood or well-ventilated area. Hello again. I know this is unusual, as I normally don't post videos this time of week, but I wanted to address two common questions I saw from the last video on sodium chlorate and the gummy. I posted a GIF onto r slash chemical reaction GIFs, and it actually made its way to the front page of Reddit, which was pretty cool. Anyways, let's get into this without going into too much detail. The first thing I noticed was people confusing sodium chlorate for sodium chloride. Here are the structures of the two molecules, which are obviously very different. Sodium chlorate is a strong oxidizing agent that melts at 248C and starts to decompose around 300C. On the other hand, sodium chloride melts around 800C and boils at over 1400C, but never decomposes from such heat. Sodium chloride is also commonly known as table salt, although both are considered salts by definition. So, what might happen if you put a gummy into molten sodium chloride instead of molten sodium chlorate? First, I melted the sodium chloride in a small crucible that I had with the exposure on the camera all the way up so that it could be seen. This took significantly longer than melting the sodium chlorate, which does so at a much lower temperature. As you can see, it turns a bright red, as well as gives off a large amount of infrared radiation when it's molten. I tried to get a temperature reading using my infrared thermometer, but it doesn't really measure such high temperatures. Anyways, after it was molten, I quickly dropped in the gummy. Notice how there's no flames, no spectacular show, or anything really of the sort. The gummy just melts. The sodium and chlorine and sodium chloride are perfectly happy in their ionically bonded state and have no reason to react. Next up, I saw a ton of comments joking about using the sugar chlorate mixture for rocket fuel, fuel for cars, batteries, etc. To test how much thrust the sodium chlorate and gummy reaction has, I decided to jerry-rig together a miniature test tube rocket. I know your first thought is likely, why would you ever use glass for something that will inevitably produce thrust and may explode? Well, mostly because I just wanted to see what it might look like. But seriously, never try this at home. To make it, I simply took a test tube, added some sodium chloride to the bottom, added a gummy on top of it, and then sealed the top using some hot glue. After struggling for a while to get a good seal, I poked a hole with a needle through the hot glue to make a place for the hot gases to escape, producing the thrust to get the test tube moving. Again, I will repeat, never try this at home. After it was all set up and the glue mostly dried, I lit the blowtorch, set it down, and ran for the hills. Nothing really happened at first, but when the sodium chlorate melted, things started to take off. I also took this shot from a different angle, which you can see here. Now, unfortunately I don't have a high speed camera, but I'll slow it down frame by frame just to show what happened. First, you can see the sodium chlorine melting, but not yet reacting with the gummy. This happens because it has not yet reached 300C, where it breaks down into oxygen that drives the reaction. Soon enough though, the reaction jump starts and has little flames coming from the sides of the gummy. Very quickly, the test tube glows as if it belongs in a street lamp, and then it's gone. Within four frames, the tube is out of sight. In the side shot that I got, you can see the glow from the tube first. Then, as soon as the tube takes off, you can see the light from the tube is above the ground. This leads me to believe that the tube actually went airborne, which means this could be used as an effective propellant. 
Overall, I was very impressed with how well this test tube rocket worked out, especially considering the glass survived unscathed. I would definitely like to revisit this idea in the future, maybe getting it to stand up or having a much wider shot. For now though, that's all I have for this video. If you haven't seen the original sodium chlorate video, make sure to go check that out so you know exactly what I'm talking about in this one. As always, make sure to leave a like and a comment as I try to reply to each one that I receive. Please make sure to subscribe as well if you like this content, as I'm still posting weekly. That's all for now, and I'll see you next week.